Brandon that does the whole short lives, but I thought I'd hop on here and just go live with the animals. We just got back from um, eating after church and the kiddos, I think, are they said they wanted to go play some ball. So they're actually playing ball somewhere, somewhere on the farm. And um, so we're gonna turn this around and let these goats out because they are ready for some grass, I think. We put them back up last night. And since we're gonna be home all day, I figured we can do that. All right, let me see if I know how to do this. So if I miss any comments, I'm by myself. So bear with me and I will get the comments all done or try to try to get the comments. All right, guys, y'all come out. Hello, Living Life Loving, Aussie Cool, Susan, Alice, Nancy, Diane, Amanda. We're doing really good. Yep, I'm alone with all the animals. Look at them all. Even a turkey got stuck in there. Even a guinea. <laughs> Hello, Vicky, Barbara, watch from sunny Indiana. And if the wind gets too bad, I actually forgot the mics, but I have them inside. So I may have one of the kids grab it if it gets too bad. So just let me know how the sand it, or sound is. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, Cinderella. So we'll actually let them finish going out. I'm gonna hop this fence and go find the puppy dogs. Yeah, it is a beautiful day, but it's also kind of chilly. It's supposed to get to 64 today. And uh, so it's getting there, just not there yet. We got some goats in, in this area. Let's go look at these ponies. I see them sneaking around. What are you doing? Oh, Milky Way. I was not trapping you in there. Just one of you? I thought maybe Stevie was in there with you. There y'all are. Yeah, look at all the goats. Don't bounce on me. It's muddy. It's muddy, muddy. Um, how many goats? do you have now with the latest birth um i can't tell you to be honest uh a lot we have a lot dixie down down stay down down good boy that's a good boy no don't scratch me i don't want all muddy hey lily <laughs> Your weather today matches ours here in Minnesota today. I know, Kevin, it's a surprise. It's just it's beautiful. And then I have my video that I'll be doing in a little bit to put out for this evening. And it was just one of those spur of the moment, just hang out with the animals and let everybody else hang out too. So, so one of the donkey's udder is swollen. Um, I don't know. Was that on one of Brandon's videos or did y'all notice one? I'll have to go look at that. But I don't know. 70% chance of rain. I think we've gotten all the rain. <laughs> you got stuck in here, huh? Let's go see if I can walk this way and see if she'll go out the gate. Um... Rain, rain. So I think that's all the rain for right now, but it doesn't mean that that's going to be all the rain we get because you never know in Oklahoma. You never know what kind of rain you're going to get. Love to see you doing lives. Hey, Steph, how's it going? It's going good. Amanda from South Africa. It's awesome. It's cold and rainy in Virginia. See, how that goat sounds right there 
It almost sounds like she's giving birth. She's got this deep. He's wanting to show off for y'all. <laughs> she's got that deep cry that sounds like she's in pain. <laughs> I don't see any turtles right now. I might have scared them off. Um, do you have horses? I love horses so much. We have six. We have three in here, three ladies in here, seven, because we have four over here, and I'll actually take y'all over there. Um, the ponies and the miniature donkeys, we actually let out. That goat's not even following me. I was going to try to let her out. But they, um, they are all kind of running the... Um, what do you call it? The fence line where Brandon, I'm going to walk over there and kind of show y'all how they do that. But they're over there. They're talking. They are Kentucky. Hey, give Dixie a big hug for me. I love that girl so much. She is amazing. Hi, Dixie girl. Hi, baby. They should give you a big hug. You're such a good girl. Yes, Brandon is at work. He uh, works Sundays now. So, um, that's where he is on Sundays after church. He goes to church with us and then um, goes in right after that. I'd love to be doing what you're... Stephanie, instead of laundry, I am doing. <laughs> yeah, see, I got some laundry to do too. I think we got a couple loads in there that I need to get done. But Sundays is usually when I try to make sure everything's cleaned up for the week so we can start back up. What? Say hi, Tom. Say hi, Tom. Tom, hi. What about you? What about you, huh? Tell Ma. Oh. Toby, let me say hi to her. <laughs> They're so sweet. All right, we're going to get out without letting the other animals out or the dogs. Let's see if I can do this. You stay. You stay, okay? Nope. Back. Back. Okay, lay down. Whatever. If you back. Back. Go lay down. Lay down. Sit. Say. No. Hey, that's not how you listen. Get back. Get back, get back, 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 back. No, stay, stay. It's always hard to get out of here because I don't want to let everybody out. Sorry if that was a close up. <laughs> All right. When are you getting a uh, little Ann fixed? She will be. It's either this week or this next week, but it's almost time. Um, well, it is time, but I think Brayden's got an appointment, and I think, I think it may actually be this week, but I'm not, not a hundred percent sure on that. Are you guys going to be doing merch again? Yes, and we have like for our main channel, Eddie Family Farm, we still have all that merch um there's still some merch left on there we're gonna be launching some more um uh whenever he gets all the designs and everything and um then i'm going to be making sure i have all the designs and stuff for my channel and yes they are we will be getting some more shirts out i'm excited and then we'll get some uh, kid sizes too this time. We are retired, but I still try not to work hard on Sundays. I feel out. I try not to. Sundays are just one of those days. Usually we have ball practice. We have um, Kaysen and Addison have ball practice on Sunday. Leighton and Brayley had practice on Saturdays, but now Bray Brayley's T-ball is done with now, 
so we don't have to worry about that but um since we got so much rain both practices were canceled today and it's you it's a, like one to three so it's you get out of church close to 12 and then you try to hurry up and pick something fast for um lunch and then hurry up and make sure he's dressed and everything or they're dressed and everything for uh practice here's some baby goats i'm walking over here look how muddy they love it right here though i think this is like the designated babysitting area because the mamas always leave the babies right here so this is the fencing that brandon and layton kind of put up and yes it is on so i'm not gonna touch it all i may hop it um, to get inside here, but I'm going to actually try to get back here and see the ponies and stuff from the outside. I think the kids are back over here too, playing ball. Alright, hello Steph. My, my daughter, kids, and myself are doing a trip from May 4th to the 19th and we'll be one hour from you. You're living the good dream. Yeah, that's awesome. I just signed up the kids for, they do a um, camp, uh, well it's Vacation Bible School and it's at the end of May and we just signed them up for that today. I'm watching the ground with it being kind of wet and stuff but also hot, I'm scared there's going to be some snakes out. Uh, why do you look like that? Well, I don't know, because I do. Maybe I'm blotchy or something, I don't know. Yeah, this guy is beautiful. From Randy in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hi, Stephanie, give all the animals a hug for me. I love your videos, take care, and God bless all. If I missed any, then just repeat, or some of the mods have already answered. Did you make it out of that pen? Huh? You can't find all your friends though, huh? Probably ran to the front. So the kiddos are actually back here, it looks like. Looks like they got a soccer ball. They're playing baseball with it. They got a bat and a ball. That's funny. Hello, James. Hello from in Chede, the Netherlands, maybe. The kids are right down here. We'll get a little bit closer and say hi to them and stuff too. I know that was a weird comment and I was like, I don't know. All right, looks like I might be caught up for the minute. Well, here's the four ponies that are in the pony pen, usually. The donkeys are out, too, but they're actually in their pen. Their gate's open for them to come out, but they are not. Ponies! Romeo! I don't think you can zoom in on here, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. The wind is really bad on this side of the hill, so I'm sorry for that. Let's go down here to the kiddos and say hi. Trisha, well, he works there part-time. Yes, if you're talking about Brandon, he went back part-time to the sheriff's office. Um, he just got bored, I think. Just not, it, not really, maybe not bored, probably bored because, I mean, if I didn't have the kids, I think I may even like the sheriff's office work. I just like to be involved, but, um, so a little bit probably bored because it's 
not too exciting unless you have a baby born or something on the farm. But um, they just, it would be fun. Oh, you missed! <laughs> I just realized y'all are all still in your church clothes. Yeah. Just jeans, yeah. Mine's just a shirt <laughs> Alright, Kason's gonna make make Bra or Leighton home. Well, not with that kind of pitch, he's not. Let's see. Alright. Give him a good pitch. Oh, go home, go home, go home. <laughs> he got an RBI. I think that's called out of baseline. <laughs> These kids are so competitive. And if one gets out or something, they're... They're just like any other kids, so one will end up being mad because they got out and whatever. If they do go, or if they do good, I will sub. I hope you sub, because they do good. It's so pretty out there, y'all living the dream. I miss living on my big property. Love the T.S. Right, um, Stephanie, have they started on the house? No, they have not started on the house. I am shocked because now we did get a lot of rain yesterday, but most of last week we got maybe one day and it wasn't like it dried up that day. <laughs> I thought they threw the ball, but it was a bird flying. I seen a shadow, but um, and I I just knew they were gonna start last week. But they didn't, so I don't know. We'll come up here to the house pad, though. I'm just, I say I'm waiting for the porta potty. Like a bunch of people are like, are the porta potties here yet? But I think it was Ed Kirkpatrick said that they will actually be bringing the temporary um, electric pole first. So I don't know. We will see. I just want them to start on it so we can get us a house because it's just it's not horrible in the tiny house it's it's really not especially we're always going and it's not it it's just not horrible i don't know how else to explain it, it but having a actual house where i can put things like that's the biggest thing that i don't like is when I cook, we have the stove and everything, but we have so, so little counter space. And when I cook, I have four plates to make. I mean, really six, but I do the kids first and give them their plates, and then I make mine and Brandon's. But there's just so little um, space that you just can't... Um, you just can't get all the sides and everything on there. Especially, we have a flat top stove. So, I can't use... Sometimes you can use the stove to put a plate or something. But the whole stove kind of gets hot. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ranting about why I don't like that place. But it's really not that bad. So here is the foundation or the, the slab or whatever you want to call it. But I just hope they hurry up and do it. Um, Cynthia, miss your morning lives. Are you starting them this summer again? Once we slow down a little bit, then maybe we can start the lives again it's just so i think it got too much with we were vacationing and stuff and we were doing more things once the kids are home yeah it might be a little bit easier to so we don't have to plan 
through the work, the school days and um, ball and stuff like that. So we might be able to start the morning lives again. It's just beautiful where you live. We love it. Uh, notifications are not very reliable. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm sure you and Brandon would love your bedroom, not in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, and that's not a huge thing for me. I mean, it is because there, you know, there's dirt and then there's rock. And we have to dust the bed off every single night right before we get into bed. And it's just, it, it's gross. Not really, it's just dirty. It's not like mud or nothing like that it's just all if you keep the door open or you have the door open or anything all that dirt from just the wind blows in and it gets all over the sheets so we have to like we have to wash the sheets all the time not just once a week or once a month or whatever whoever whatever you do end up doing we have to do it way more we two to three times a week and it's a lot but it's nice to have a washer and dryer um, can you build a drop down counter like they used to with ironing boards? No, because we don't have enough room. We don't have wall space at all to have a drop down um, counter. We don't have enough room for an island either. That would be really nice. Um, I enjoy morning chats, but when it comes to family life, schedules are ever changing yes they are um, summer again okay thank you for letting her know that we was talking about the house but Anyways, that is pretty much what we've been doing today. We just did the whole, we went to church and um, luckily ball got canceled. And usually I don't say that. Usually I'm all for going, going, going with ball and everything. But today just, I'm tired a little bit. Braylee, we had her birthday party yesterday and it was a blast i mean we went bowling there was laser tag there was arcade stuff there, she ended up having 20 kids at her birthday party now uh, there was a bunch of family but i was so pleased what there was so many actual friends from school that showed up so i was super excited for her and yeah i'm, I'm gonna I think in my video today, I will actually have a clipping because we went out to eat um, after the party and they we told them it was our birthday. So they come and sing to her and everything and she got so embarrassed, but I'm going to put, put that in the video later on today. So y'all have to go and watch it. But that is going to wrap this up. I'm going to actually get inside and get them settled in. I just seen them, they were carrying birthday, all her birthday gifts inside. And I just know exactly where those are gonna go right in the kitchen floor so they can play with them. And I'm gonna have to let them know that they need to go to the bedrooms. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my walk around and it wasn't too, too windy without the mics. But I hope y'all have a beautiful Sunday, but I gotta get off here. <laughs> Bye, guys.